everybody welcome to a very quick tutorial lesson i'm kind of playing around with the bag of pie ran to a problem just want to share my solution if anyone else is doing the same thing so i'm just going to cancel this out don't need it so i've got a little tiny scene here that i am making just a microwave tower and so what i ran into was and i'm just going to go ahead and make a new scene real quick the thing I ran into was when I select the surface and hit J and I draw in anything, you know, like cables, whatever you're going to do. And you want to export this to D5. You know, you want to move it over uh, to another Blender. Like Blender 3.4 and 3.5 is really wigging out on me while I was trying to use the Bag of Pie. So now I've got to go back to 3.3. I'm using the Bag of Pie, set up the scene, and then what I do is just come over... And I want to, and you, you can take the bag of pie set up here and you can actually, let me just come over here to the modifier. You can set the ring textures and all those different things as you wish. Set those and don't forget you've got the asset browser. So it's going to stop myself for a second here. I'm jumping ahead and you can install you can set the asset browser and or install the bag of pie parametric preset asset library. Uh, one of them costs, one of them does not. Now I come over to the bag of pie here and you can kind of, you know, scroll through. You've got a bunch of different things in here. You can go over for your presets. There are some textures as well. So if I wanted to like come over here and maybe drop in metal, dark and we're going to come over to the modifier tab and those are all going to be in the blender canister so i can just grab the metal clear for that for the fixtures we can go dark and let's come over here so you can kind of see how that is going and then i select the metal blue for the main body of it and then as far as that goes, I mean, it's, I could take that into PBR and do a whole lot better. We could stencil paint that. You could just put a texture on it, just a different texture, whatever you want to do. It is actually two things. So I will convert this, select the object, go over to object, come down to convert, convert it to a mesh. And when you come over here, you'll see you've got a nice topology on that now. And it's able to be textured, ID mapped, whatever you want to do with it. Now, if you come over and you grab your plane, you hit J and you pull in something like the uh, wireframe beam. I'm trying to drag and drop. And you try to do the same thing and go to object and you try to convert that to a mesh. It's gone. So control Z back. What you need to do is find out where it says it you can realize the instance if you realize a bunch of instances or a huge portion of geometry you'll probably freeze and or crash blender then you can come up to object convert and convert that to a mesh then you come in hit a for all you on you know unwrap this however you wish give it a little bit of an island margin and make it look a little bit better Let me just throw this uv editor up here we can see how that looks and then for a very generic setup, you know, you could pack the islands. It does not have to be too special. And then you could throw any texture on it that you want. Now for everyone who got the Philogix PBR Painter Pro, which is a big part of my workflow, but it is not the main thing. Um, you know, generally speaking, I like to do texturing in a few different ways. You know, you can get the regular PBRs, do some very nice unwraps, stencil paint bunch of different ways to texture but what i will do is real quick i'm going to knock this off of here click new pick shader go with a metalness workflow now i've already unwrapped that switch to like 2048 quality of two and i'll leave it cpu it doesn't matter it's still pretty fast and i'll bake that all right so that baked out pretty quick so i'll come over here i'm going to add my base layer to this because it is a metalness workflow and just so we can see you know that it's actually there it's nice and green and I will now add a custom preset and I really really like using 
the rusty metal or any of the rust, especially for the, the setup. Now this kind of looks like trash right now, but if you do the UV project as box, then you'll see that you've got a nice texture. If you want it to look a lot finer, you can come over to the metal rusty and have that on box projection as well. And you can kind of play around with the values and the settings and change that. Now, if you don't want the whole thing to look like that, I've got tutorials in a Philogix PBR Painter Pro playlist where you guys can get a bunch of tutorials to get you started with Philogix. There is a link below if you want it. It's very good for the workflow and just makes things a lot quicker. And that is it for my quick tip. Hope that helps you guys out. If anyone has any other advice, you've been using Bag of Pie, how it's working out, you've been using Philogix, hit me up in the comments below, get those questions answered, and we will all learn. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial lesson.